Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to assign properties to members in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. For this training session, we will be assigning properties using a model that's already been created in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. Let's go ahead and access that model now. To start the program, I'm going to double click on the STAD Pro Connect Edition icon on my desktop. Upon launching the program, STAD Pro will ask you which license you would like to select for this session. For today's session, we will be using the basic STAD Pro license and no other licenses will be needed for anything we're going to accomplish today. Now before we open up our sample model, let's first talk about the two major workflows that we have available in STAD Pro Connect Edition. The first workflow is an analytical modeling workflow. This would be used to model your structure using analytical elements. The analytical model is a finite element model of the structure, which is typically processed directly by the analysis and design engine. New in STAD Pro Connect Edition, we also provide a physical modeling workflow. This would be used to model your structure in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler using physical members. The physical model is used to draw structural elements as they are physically constructed. The program will then decompose this into an analytical model, which is passed to the STAD Pro Analysis and Design Engine when you run your model. For this series of videos, we are going to be focusing on assigning properties using a physical modeling workflow. To launch the model, I'm going to go ahead and select my physical model that I've already prepared. Whenever you open a STAD Pro physical model, you're automatically going to be sent to the STAD Pro physical modeler. Here, what we can see is that I will be using this sample model to assign properties to. Now, this model already contains various nodes and physical members. The model doesn't contain any section properties, loads, or material properties, or any other specifications at this point. Now that we have our model open in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler, let's also go over a few basic skills on both selecting model geometry and also viewing your model geometry. Both of these skills will come in handy as you're trying to assign information to your particular model. So let's go over how to select items first. So the mouse works very similarly in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler as it does in the STAD Pro Analytical Modeler, except for one thing. We don't have separate cursors for different types of objects, so your cursor will select anything that you either click on or is within a fence. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to left click on my main view window that unselects everything. A single left click on any item or any node will select those items. We can draw a fence to select multiple items at one time, and we can also use the control key to affect our selection. In addition to that, if we went to the ribbon toolbar and selected the data tab, we also have a couple of tools here. So here we can use this pull down menu to select nodes or to say select members. So let's go with a special selection at this point. And we're going to go ahead and select all of our columns by selecting all the members parallel to the Y axis. Now, for convenience, we've also provided a lot of these same selection tools. If you right click in your view window here, you can see you have the select all option. You can uh, view just your selected objects and so forth. And of course, the nodes and the member tools as well. In addition to that, let's go over a few key features for viewing your model geometry. 
To view your model geometry, you can go to the View tab of the Ribbon Toolbar. And here you can see you can navigate to different perspectives. I'm in the standard isometric view right now. I can switch to, say, an elevation view or a plan view as well. I can zoom in and out using this options. And I can also tell the program if I want to see certain attributes directly on my screen. Say, for example, I wanted to see my local axis of my system. Now, I selected that option. I don't see anything. That will display that information just for the currently selected members. Now, if you ever wanted to clear any display options, you can go up to your Quick Access Toolbar and click on the Reset Visualization Options. What this will do is it'll turn off any type of attributes that you currently have turned on. Now, one last thing I want to go over in this particular video is to take a look at your ribbon toolbar. What you're going to notice is that when you have any particular entity selected on your screen, you're going to get some additional tools available in your ribbon toolbar. Here you can see I have some nodes selected, so I can see some nodal tools. And then I also have uh, some member tools available. Now, we're going to use both of these tabs in order to assign properties and specifications to our system. Now that we've gone over how to navigate the graphical user interface in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler, let's go over what our goals are for the next series of videos. We're going to show you how to assign properties both to your members and your nodes in the model. This will include creating groups and assigning member descriptions to make selection easier. This will include assigning specifications to to your nodes, including supports and nodal relationships, and assigning specifications and properties to your members, including assigning standard and prismatic section properties, member rotation, longitudinal axis information, and we'll also show you how to assign member end fixity, the axial behavior, and the cross-sectional position and offsets. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.